What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are attempt going to attempt to try and do a speedy attack. Um, well actually no, we can't do a speedy attack, sorry, because they have no defences. We're going to just fight this normally, which shouldn't be a problem because most of their cavalry is weak. Their infantry is of poor quality. The reinforcing army is incredibly knackered. So uh, yeah, the Cologne's kind of the core of their strong troops because lots of these guys have already been quite badly beaten up trying to attack Amsterdam. So let's take the Westphalian capital of Cologne. So this is very 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 important to do so we can try and open up a western flank against the Austrians and cause them to uh, have to re rethink the deployments of troops. The center of gravity is northern Italy, that's where the bulk of their men are. We've got superiority on the northwestern front and in the east, so we need to take advantage of those while also building up our armies. So I think next turn I could probably do with starting another army in Spain, which can then be shipped to the front. So let's put one gun team in the line. Deploy two infantry units to protect the flanks that should really dot some dot some of my elites around so we are probably going to extend deployment of that infantry of the right flank out I'm not so worried about attacking the town but I am a bit worried about where the oh I've mixed up my <laughs> deployment zone there we go so howitzers are going to be up and ready to try and quick climb their cavalry concentrations. One gun team is probably going to sit back here, maybe. So you men hit an infantry unit. To be honest, you guys hit that cavalry unit. These units both attack their uh, cavalry concentrations to the rear. Hopefully a good quick climb unit. Some good damage to their horse artillery, their, their horsemen there. Let's pivot the right flank, ready to defend against possible attack. The left flank can advance. Maybe a bit more squashed up than that. So you men keep dropping artillery on the cavalry units to the rear. Because their, their infantry here isn't a massive concern. We're more bothered about the infantry to their centre. Well, it's mostly their cavalry. It's their cavalry that could swarm us that I'm, that's the concerning part. So we're going to want to use our howitzers to, to buff up our... Or to try and blow through the centre. To be honest, which one's their general's unit? It looks like it's... I can't really tell. Apart from looking on the map, it looks like it's you guys. Because the problem is attacking on the right flank is that we do have to kind of well that's not so well that's not so bad. We can spend take these units, push up the right flank. Give them our curacia guards, because if we need to, we can just extend these infantrymen like so. Up and up to this feature to prevent them from being able to flank around like that. See the data, you can see the evidence of some quick climb deployments. Let's get our cavalry running up onto the hills as well. Two units of provincial cav, I'm not bothered about that. More artillery into the cavalry. Well, oh, this quick climb actually missed. Didn't miss that time. But 
looks like we are actually going to catch them out a bit on this flank. So the artillery gun team to the rear focus on this giant, well not giant, this relatively big cluster of cavalry to the rear. Okay, let's push up like that. Push up quite aggressively. To the point where these Curiosity Guard are going to be a bit useless. They're going to get up onto this hill and see if they can engage the Provincial Cavalry with pistol fire. Their line's about to hit our line. I hear cavalry charges. No, they're well out of pistol shot. So the 116th fire forms square. And the 117th by the looks of it. But let's bring our bring our cavalry in. We're not going to specifically give them an order to charge. These men are pouring fire into the 1st Regiment of Foot, who are already wavering. So the 2nd Regiment have been repulsed. 7th Regiment of Provincial Cavalry has been seen off. So let's bring our cavalry further along. Let's take our infantry. Push them up into the town here. These men secure. Well, yeah, secure the town. Not a very efficient deployment of troops, but let's advance our line to give the right to give this flank now a bit of support, especially as the enemy cavalry has given us such poor showing. Start dropping. Oh, they must have got a good few kills there because <laughs> everything dropped for a while there. So the provincial cavalry is waiting for the fifth regiment to fall. Can you guys start to just start to chew up some of the enemy units ahead of us? So I want the fifth to break. What have you guys... Why do you guys not listen to me? Good. Break them. So then you guys can pivot to focus on the unit to the front. The general's bodyguard can get some good kills. Yeah, these guys are consistently losing a good amount of cavalry. The third regiment... The first regiment, bear infantry regiment, are going down again. They don't have fire by rank, so they are always going to struggle. These guys are going to serve as bait. Oh my god! Yeah, I said, oh my god! I read the map wrong. So I saw them coming in from this line, and I thought that was here. Not my left flank. I'm like, yeah, okay. So you men get out of get, get out of dodge. The bait has worked. In comes the provincial cavalry to try and get some easy scrummy kills. My general's bodyguard has to negotiate. Well, nail it straight back, good sir. So the 117, yeah, the square was broken, but they should reform it. No general's bodyguard. Some of the st general's staff are being killed, but the actual unit itself is coming back in good order. Charge the provincial cavalry with my heavies. Run, general's bodyguard, run! I know you're wavering. But you're being pursued by enemy cavalry. 
No, where did... Is he back there? Oh, fair enough. Screw him. <laughs> That's what happens to generals who don't do as they're told in my army. 117th, on the other hand, have done a spectacular job. You men are going to clear out the 19th in short order. Yeah, the 17th are upset. Oh, they're a regiment of horse, actually. They're not terrible. Thought they were a um, provincial... Provincial infantry unit. Who, as we know, don't really matter. We may as well deploy the general's bodyguard to now go and pursue... The enemy. Again, most of these units here that are in the garrison don't actually matter either. We should start to see... Oh no, don't attack my general. He used to be someone I knew. There we go. Pursue the mercenaries. You men, pursue the edge of the map where the enemies are going to come in from. There they are. Push up towards that part of the world. Can you guys reach? Oh, you're just out of range. Very well. Both of these units attack the 19th. Try and try and take me out if they like. Let's take two units and use them to push up to threaten those guys. These units here hold steady because I don't. There is another army coming in to reinforce that might get up to some shenanigans. New men push up as well. They can't help but charge the Grenadiers. So these guys might try and charge another infantry unit on the flank, but again, we got plenty of infantry here. Who's that? Militia. New men form square. Let's bring our cuirassier guard back down here. All right, let's deploy them into square then. Wait, who are you guys routing? Ah, oh, fair enough. To be honest, all artillery can cease fire. Oh no, just bomb... No, no, they're not within range to bombard. doing a bit of damage to us but not enough to change the outcome of the battle and the amount of damage they're going to take and the amount of damage we're able to put out as part of a defense even when outnumbered and that's the main that's the an important thing to remember is that because of their immaturity and science and technology and military matters we can do so much more damage than the Westphalians can with far fewer troops so you guys limber up to be honest they can all limber up so there goes unit of militia more militia, Lanvin militia, line infantry. So they might attempt to. Um, they might attempt to charge into a. 
charge into melee combat. But if they do, that will go just as well as trying to stay... Um, trying to get within musket range of us. Especially once we get these new flanking units done. We pivot our gun teams. Because like these guys, all they need to do is pivot. And get within line of sight. Because the enemy are on a raised part of the hill. We can unlimber and then just attack ground in the middle. And let a natural area of effect sort of scattery. RN, well, let RN Jesus take the wheel. Yep, that's a lot of... That's a lot of fire. So let's push you guys up one more little bit. You guys on Limber, and again, just... Attack ground in the middle of this mess. They have made into <laughs> made into musket range. Very well. Line him. They sense weakness. They sense the melee combat. Well, these guys are going to reload and sense weakness into their flank. Yep. They don't like that one bit. Dear, oh dear. Although it says they think they're actually winning the combat. I wonder if it's because these guys count as shooting in these guys are shooting into the backs of my own men. Could be it. Don't worry. These guys aren't gonna be taking such liberties. So these men are bravely holding on for our elite, so both our line infantry and our grenadier guards. Charge the 52nd! Hurrah! As contact is made, and the enemy have immediately given up. So let's just speed up time because it's just going to be the 14th Regiment of Militia against everyone. Well, they've, no, another unit's come back. Um, same level of unlikelihood. Let's specifically target them with our foot artillery. Okay, it seems like they must be professionally suicidal. Yeah, back you go. <laughs> There we go. So that's Cologne taken. 4,700 Westphalians lost. It's cost our general. However, I think that is a reasonable trade. Let's get rid of the university. Mr. Demarcado, you don't... Well, you're going to stay near the territory, just in case they attempt to countercharge us. Can't repair anything. We're going to destroy the university to get them off our back. We're going to exempt them from tax. Then probably rebuild that. Well, maybe not, because we might have to hop over to the east, because we do have a full, if soon to be unhealthy, Austrian army to engage with one of our generals. Again, they're very deplete. Oh, my. I'm not going to auto resolve it because of the wider damage, but. Yeah. Stand back and shoot them. Um, it's the kind of army that makes the Austrians look that much more dangerous and intimidating in the eastern flank than they actually are, because most of their army is depleted skirmish cavalry and poor quality infantry. So we do want to push through the Balkans. Um, it's debatable whether we want to declare war on Württemberg, because they are spread out now. We can jump onto Strasbourg. Strasbourg fairly well it would open up another army into the um, action I might just deploy them in as part of the line where they can do just devastating damage oh, I've already 
Unlimbered. Yeah, just form a line, take advantage of our firepower, and shoot the living crap out of them. That's going to be the order of the day here. Some cavalry on the right flank. Make sure they're both fireable off for now. General on the other. So we've got a bugged unit here. So I can actually have 159 men, which is great. Just let the see. Look, that's their army. Just let the artillery do its own thing. Because <laughs> I mean. Whatever they shoot, it's going to be devastating, surely. It's all provincial cavalry. Provincial, provincial, provincial. Provincial. Look these guys, they're just going to stay out of musket range, aren't they? Little scamps. More artillery. Yes, the 20th. That's right. You get you get what's coming to you. The 9th are charging. Trying to hit the 88th. But they've been turned back. Line cavalry and my Curacia Guard are going to be on fire at will on because they've got cavalry coming in. So a volley from the line infantry, well the line cavalry will do a lot of good, they've lost half their strength. So let's push up, accept the general on that flank. Start to really turn this into a real cauldron of death and destruction. There's so much damage. So where's my general? Yeah, he's over there. E-men reloaded. Soon to be. <laughs> there is a unit of grenadiers right there, which I'm hungrily getting ready for. Got their own carabiner. I wonder how well they're going to put up with against just hundreds of muskets. Not so bothered about killing their cavalry. Cavalry is their cavalry is already weak. And weak cavalry is just nothing. Oh, a bit of friendly fire there. Militia, bodyguard, carabiner. Loads of cavalry. Enemy general's been killed. Just let my line cavalry do line cavalry things now. The 38th are gone. So I'm okay with I'm not I'm okay with cavalry getting away. Fundamentally. We are gonna continue. <laughs> You guys need to fire it well off. Attack the 23rd. Alright, actually, no. You guys get over here. You guys attack the 23rd. There we go. So you wipe out 
that handful of militia. And you guys go after that militia. You guys go after this militia. To be honest, it is mostly it is a mostly militia army as far as the infantry is concerned. But still. Let's not give them any units to rebuild their strength from in the east. Because this is the last strength they've got outside of the capital, I think. Well, outside of Transylvania, which we have just dominated, absolutely dominated. I mean, uh, granted, it shouldn't be really super impressed because they've got no men left. So can you, you guys, can, you can get through there. Okay, so you men are going to push through that direction. You men are punishing. You guys just keep harrying Franz Gerdes. Although I know your job is to funnel men into these armies, which I should really do. We've still got Kiev. Kiev's under our control. Obviously we've got Baghdad, but Persia's now going to become a problem. So let's recruit a brig in Basra to prevent that from becoming too much of an issue. So Christoph Schaefer so you are you have some leftovers that could be dangerous but yes we could attacking Württemberg is tempting because we've got an army here which we could take fairly easily and we've also got Stuttgart which we could take fairly easily and again open up another front line against the um, Austrians but we are trading with them so for now I will do it but for now let's say no um, you guys are going to hold here. You're going to want to squeeze in from the west against these forces. I don't want to attack and then them run back around us or something annoying. You're holding near Belgrade. They are trying to re reinforce. I mean, I want to jump on Württemberg while most of their armies are... A good chunk of their armies at least are stuck back there doing nothing. Um, obviously, we don't want to really push here in northern Italy. So let's get these armies out of northern Italy. Then over in the Americas, to be honest, actually let's swap militia for hussars. While you men are replenishing, go put Williamsburg under siege. You may as well keep attacking. Michigan is repairing or replenishing as well as it can but we pretty much need income now um, I'm not going to raise taxes in the Americas because we do want well, I don't know no no I'm okay doing it in Europe because we own lots of quite wealthy territories but I really don't want to do go too mad in the um, Americas Obviously, yeah, you're there. I want these guys are here to intercept the militia because I don't want to lose any of this army. And this army's okay, but again, they're only covering. Well, they're, they're, they're significantly outnumbered. So we do want some more support just coming in Rome. I don't think there's a lot we can really do. Marburg, obviously, we want to destroy. Cambridge. Okay, Salamanca is now working on Paolo, which is great. Cambridge is working on Threshing Machine, which isn't necessarily a big deal. Go for Carronades. Seville is working for Carbines. Don't do that. Go for Platoon Firing to get the plus one training level for infantry units, plus, plus one management for army administration, making our army a bit cheaper to uh, maintain and organize because so this army is waiting for an order because it's very tempting to land in northern northern Europe especially now we are starting to build up a garrison here at Stockholm I think now is probably the time to do it so you're minus one but you'll be okay next turn 
So you've got a church school. And it's slowly converting your people to pro um, Catholicism, which is good. Could probably transfer two militia over to Stockholm now. Okay, so we've got the Austrian fleet bottled up. We can land, but we can't attack. But we can land and attack Königsberg with our Swedish army. So you can push in. Deposit Jamie Dazara. His army can push Königsberg. Demand the surrender of the city. So now we have a fortified position. To be honest, do we just land and hit Warsaw from this army? Maybe, if we can get there. Might we take Gdansk just to provide a bit more mutual support? It's less economically valuable than Warsaw, but I think it's good to do because it will really throw them off balance. We'll obviously need to pour some money into these areas because Konigsberg could be quite a valuable troop producing region so i think this is wanting us to move our army first demand the surrender of gdansk so then our rake to be honest we've got pretty good coverage infiltrate warsaw good so amsterdam you guys need to replenish ready to Ready for the follow-up attacks that are going to come from Westphalia. So they could come... Okay, you guys might actually move up an infantry unit to Cologne. To be honest, let's combine some troops. Combine our weakest, uh, our weakest units together. So you're now short, to be honest, maybe... Augustin de Mercado. Congratulations, you've been promoted. So you need an infantry unit. Let's take a Swiss line and let's take a line infantry unit to Cologne. So now this force needs reinforcement. But at least we've got a stronger garrison at the, at the holding Cologne. Um, and then in America, obviously we want to continue but you need to replenish before we can push on to Santo Domingo we're earning 78,000 a turn so we should really be able to make things happen next episode so let's hit end turn you've pushed up to the border with the Cherokee but we don't really want to attack but we're hoping we can well if we can bust through if we can, if we take out Westphalia yeah there we go they've they've realized what's going on Oh, did they march south into Bulgaria? That's frustrating. Didn't even realize that was possible. Looks like they did. They demand Alsace-Lorraine. What a weird territory to demand. No. My lord will not be pleased. I'm sure he won't be. Yeah, you can get up to some shenanigans if you like. I mean, Russia m remains a perpetual threat to us. But that's why I'm hoping I can be fairly aggressive in Europe and push the Austrians back. At least, at least that's the plan. By taking those two territories, I want to, I'm, I'm really curious if I can just leave Königsberg and push down to take Warsaw. I'm really curious if I can do that. It might not be a bad idea. Obviously, here comes the Persians now. Um, that's the main thing about... As soon as you open a front with Persia, they, they go for you straight away. And there's not a lot you can do about it. So you have to be embroiled in a war unless I... Give them land in the Americas. But then again, they'll, they'll never stop because you're right there. 
and it's what they do. Good, they've not interrupted my dismantling of the university. So I might want to recruit some troops in Boston, because we're about to get attacked by the Mughals somewhere. But we've got at least a turn of recruitment. Port blockaded Barbados, fine. Port blockaded Luz, fine. Boston. Spanish Free Company of Catalonia. Cool. Recruit unit, of, a selection of line infantry. For the Delphi, recruit some cannons and some cavalry. Got some good industry upgrades. I probably want to drop down first. Let's repair everything here. So we've got lances, muskets, infantry. Not going to really go mad there. We can make some repairs, but we are likely to see a resurgence in enemy activity in the east. So let's again build a couple more units of infantry. This is really annoying. I didn't think they could just run straight through that, like that, but I guess they can. The garrison here can hit them, so if you guys march up, you're out, you're just out of range. But we can rush support to Sophia, plus engineers. They can do some damage through raiding us, we can take our on... Aaron must do it and push on to Klausenberg. You guys might need to hang around. You're going to have to continue to push. Then let's bring Illitorio Rig. Well, first we'll move you guys south. They might jump on us at Moldavia now, but there's not a lot we can do. But I can take the garrison at Serbia. Swing east and hit them. You are going to stay where you are while these men advance. Um, in Europe, we're going to rebuild, rebuild, upgrade, upgrade. The army is going to march on to Warsaw. Demand the surrender of Warsaw. Because Prussia has dealt with it. Warsaw hates us as well. But let's get rid of the college. So now we have no... We've cut the Austrians up here. I mean... I don't think we can... Ooh. Can't push and take Breslau in one turn. But then again... I was about to say, do we want to? And I kind of think, well, god damn it, yes, look, we've, they've got nothing to stop us. Get the militia into Stockholm. Okay, so Miguel Cap Capitello. Got some artillery. Got a howitzers. Get some Waller in line. Two Grenadieros de Marina. To be honest, we're probably going to upgrade this army to do some scrapping as well. And probably recruit a different army to do garrison duty down here. Just because this is huge up here like the opportunity that we've got to just pour infantry in which we're going to try and exploit can you guys leave Gdansk you actually can do I do I go for Prussia I've well Berlin I've kind of got to it's right there and it's ungarrisoned 
I mean, there's a garrison here at Dresden, Dresden, but look, there's no one here. I think I'd be, I'd be being stupid if I didn't do it. I think. I've got to try, especially as next turn we're going to really amp up our recruitment capabilities. I can get not leaving Poland. It does. It's potentially vulnerable to Russia now, but to heck with it, you know. Oh, they do still have Minsk. That's odd. But still, we can do a huge amount of damage to them here, but I need to take you guys. You can't get within... You can't hit them yet, but you can get close. Although I shouldn't really have moved them in, because I can just use you. That was me being stupid. Because now they're going to run that way. Potentially take Moldavia. Ah, well, to hell with it. Any bad day for the Austrians is a good day for me. I can't complain about that too much. So they might temporarily take Moldavia, but we've got an army there ready. We can just immediately siege it and get it back. The big win is the taking the Northeastern Austrian Empire. One turn. Königsberg and Warsaw for free. Gdansk for free. If we can get through one turn, get those buildings rebuilt, we can start building up garrisons to hold back the Russians in the east without depleting our... Um, actual fighting troops pushing west I can s I really envisage them freaking out over that development they're not going to really know where to go actually let's drop some fusiliers between our artillery that's right my howitzers are going in the line there's no real purpose for doing that I'm just uh going to let them do it while I organise my line. So how it's just focus on their hussars. Because the sooner we deplete their mobile elements, the more fortuitous that will be for our fight it for our, for our mobile elements I suppose, the better we'll be able to exploit our cavalry. The Lancer Guards are charging in against the Fusiliers. Okay, let's bring some infantry in to perform as a ceremonial blockade. You guys form square, push our cavalry up on the flank, push our infantry up. Bring these men in to charge the Lancers. Retarget our artillery, although it looks like they're about to start scrapping. Okay, you guys charge the lancers. Twenty-first light horse have routed. See so you men form line. The all artillery engage the artillery coming in right at you. Who are you? Ah, General's bodyguard, run away! No, oh, what if I... How have I managed to select all those people? Fortunately, that's not too bad. So we've got a war of General's bodyguards over here. Potential... Yeah, I was about to say, potentially my General dies. It, because of course he does. I've only lost four men. And obviously one of them is going to be my general. So let's get my my cuirassier attacking the, like their cavalry. My cavalry on the march to try and clear out some of these enemy units. You guys get on. Stay running around. You guys keep attacking the light horse. Soon. Oh, hopefully, this unit of Hungarian fusiliers will rout, and it has. You men are still fighting off the Lancer guards. <laughs> I 
Gemma's bodyguards are now wavering. Hopefully you guys will clear out the Hussars in short order. Hopefully you guys can clear out those Lancer Guards in short order. It might probably help if I actually make my Fusiliers fight back. To be honest, fighting Lancers that have finished charging is probably the best thing they could imagine to engage. You men engage the militia, you men engage the 49th. You guys chase down the Hungarian fusiliers. I feel artillery engage the square. This formation just run up and get ready to engage the square. Enemy cavalry is about to go down. Because there was so much so much of that uh, enemy position was so close that the enemy cavalry unit was so close I carried on attacking. Quick climb has really knocked the stuffing out of the 49th. 117th are wavering. Switch to round shot against the 65th. I think it was probably my artillery that caused them to rout. There we go. So these units are uh, being chased down by my cavalry. Hungarian Fusiliers. Look, I think, look at us. We're Hungarian Fusiliers. And I think, well, my guys are experts at dismantling Fusilier units. Excellent. We are going to continue because I want to try and kill as many of these men as I possibly can. So this general's bodyguard can go help out my general's bodyguard, my other general's bodyguard. Let's see our howitzer fire. Make sure you guys do kill the 58th. Good. Then you guys come down here and try and help mock out some of these fusiliers. Some of them are howitzers, some of them are infantry units. We definitely want to knock out the Hungarian Fusiliers because they're pretty good. Nope, you guys go after the foot infantry. You guys are close to knocking out the 49th. They've been knocked out, so chase down chase down the gunners. The militia will take a bit of working out. You've knocked out the fusiliers. Horse artillery is also done for. So then this unit is the only one left. So let's see if we can potentially kill this entire army. Although they probably had some cavalry route. But I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is a destroyed force. All my cavalry slowly getting into a position where they can... There we go, now everyone can just run straight in without fear of killing my own men. And chase down the rest of this militia. <laughs> that poor last guy. Awesome. So we've taken them down a peg or two. Hopefully the army would be destroyed. Understandably. <laughs> um, because we aren't so lucky. Although, 
how many? Yeah, my engineers can take him on. Cavalry in general. Didn't lose a man, actually. Good. So you men replenish. Get back to Mol to Iasi, because I know the Russians are going to be up to no good. You men get back to Sofia. Oh, to Belgrade, sorry. Let's do some economy upgrades. Upgrade one of you to a global trading company. So then over in the Americas. You are replenished, but there is a pirate for pirate vessel blocking your path. So let's just attack you with two fifth rates just to clear them out. Blop. Back you go. So now the garrison here under Alfonso Mendez can leave the Windward Islands, get to Barbados. Embark aboard ship. Sail near Antigua. You men just get into there. A spy can board the ship. Then we can sail and attack Santo Domingo. Just keep the um, agent with the... I mean, yeah, look, so the army could really have done that, but whatever. Why not? <laughs> um, so the Windward Islands, the Leeward Islands. Okay, let's make sure we've got reasonable levels of infrastructure. Let's get some upgrades done here. What I could really do with is a relatively cheap farm upgrade to maximise my Maximise my spending. There we go. So there's an average yield far. Oh no. First of all. No, I can't repair the government's palace. You men replenish. Um. Okay. What does... They want Gibraltar? No freaking way. No way, Jose. They get in Gibraltar. But that. This is huge. What's happened up here. But let's hit in turn. Let's, oh, okay, oh, oh, yeah, we're attacking. Well, we're not. No, I'm gonna let them see. I'm gonna siege that and allow my the army that's there to replenish. But that was quite a massive dent we've put in the Austrian line, and immediately they've suddenly realised, oh god, we've got a massive hole in our line that the, the enemy has exposed massively. Ooh. Potentially, yes, because lots of these armies are actually depleted. You've got a couple of the units that are depleted there. You guys, you're in pretty good shape. But then again, we're depleted as well. Okay, let's say no. But good to know. Se acercan barcos enemigos. <sighs> That you, okay, because our guy didn't. Because our guy gave a little order. I was like, "Oh no, are they attacking us?" Atentos al abordaje. Um. Hmm. Again, still good. But I would like. I would like some replenishment because you've got too much artillery. Let's pull back. It's very encouraging to see, though, that the most of their troops in northern Italy are actually in fairly bad shape. The Ottomans are getting ready for another attack. You can just tell that from how they're moving their troops around. I think they're aware that they're about to lose Berlin. Don't attack us, Russia. We've got a bit of a weak front with Russia now. They've got, they could expose the uh, our gaps and jump and take Konigsberg from us. Yeah, I thought so. Just sail on past. Okay. Hmm. 
steal technology from our prestigious Spanish institutions. I know your game. You can tell we are the educational power in Europe and you want your peace. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. Yeah, that's right, Persia. Back you go. Oh, oh. Let them take Maine, just so we can recapture it. The, say the best way is to let them take it, so that they then sit in there and garrison it. Although, to be honest, I could just march my army back that's near the Cherokee frontier. Ooh, and the Americans are going to sally out of there. Out of um, Williamsburg, and that's actually a teensy bit dodgy, because some of our key units are actually pretty poor. Hmm, that's actually not great for us. It's not terrible, but it's not great. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode, so I think that'd be a good time to, uh, to end it, because I would um, retreat if I could, but I cannot. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for a bit of a dodgy defence. Um outside the city of Williamsburg. Cheers, everyone.